As we end the week with back to back days under 20 new cases of COVID-19 in Wichita County, the Public Health District is very encouraged heading into the holidays. And Zach Verdia has our top story. Between Halloween and the cold weather. This time last year, we were already seeing those cases go up, you know, substantially and incrementally each day. Now, almost two weeks since Halloween this year, Wichita County is seeing some of its lowest numbers in recent memory. And that is fabulous news. That's the first time we've seen a case count that low since mid-July. 102 total cases ended in the week with 13 and 11 cases each day. A huge trend downward considering there was one day less than 20 cases reported dating back to at least September. Thanksgiving, Christmas, Kwanzaa, all of those um, celebrations. Um, Hanukkah, typically all indoors. So that's kind of the difference. So it's not really an apples to apples comparison, but it gives us some good information. Starting the second week of September, there were 726 new cases. The following week would see 515 new cases, 372 the last week of September, then 258 to start October. That number would shrink to 215 cases the next week, then 151 cases. There's families who are really dealing with a completely different you know, family structure because they've lost a dad or they've lost a mom or they've lost a grandma. We lost a lot of people in the last 20 months and they're not forgotten. Now after another week with less cases and deaths, just 102 new cases and five deaths, the health district hopes they can continue some of the things they've done to contribute to these trends. Anything we can do to keep deaths low or non-existent from COVID, if, if we can keep that from happening for another cycle or for another year, you know, then it's, it's a good thing. Um, but we, as we go into the holidays, I think it's important for people to remember to protect their families and do what they can, you know, and that also means if you have not been vaccinated, consider getting a vaccine. Zach Verdia, KFDX 3 News. Fagan points to continued vaccination efforts in the county, along with more booster shots being given out. As of this morning, the health district has also administered 83 pediatric doses from Pfizer.